Hello and welcome back to the Fox Stream Informants YouTube channel. I am Taylor Fox and we are here doing some deadlift and then other training at Power Build Warrington today. So getting ready for Strongman Corp Nationals, which is going to be on September 20th and 21st. I officially signed up for that 10 days ago. So kind of jumping in on it, but I'd always kind of plan to do it. And I'm pretty excited that I took that shot and made it happen. Um, it's kind of been like a show that I've been an outsider looking in since I did it in 2020. And I think it's something pretty special for me, given that I just, I enjoy the, the Nationals vibe, like doing that, winning USS in 2022. Like, I just want to go and, and see what I can do. And, like, it's always a very talented lineup. I think the events are good. I like the format of three and three, two-day show, getting six events in. So I'm pretty pumped and just trying to dial in the deadlift as much as I can. So I did four events the day prior to this. So it came in just kind of like, I'm going to roll with however I'm feeling. And that ended up being working up to 595 today. And I feel like this first one moved like okay. And then it, it got better, better as I went. But like I did feel pretty good given the circumstances. And I'm like, hey, like, you know, I have done some heavy deadlifts recently. I have hit some solid weight. So I'm just going to trust in that and just try to hit some singles and really make sure I've like solidified that nice like position to be able to hit something heavy in a couple weeks so really just dialing and set up and everything like I feel pretty good I did feel better pulling the shoes off gonna really try to lock myself in on the floor but I know that I can pull either way like I had to wear shoes or if I felt more comfortable in shoes I'll put them back on but I don't want to go barefoot and just socks I think that's the move right now get the figure eights and then I I've done this a bunch of different ways but I put a wrist wrap and then a collar over that on the end of the bar so this is the kabuki deadlift bar to space the weights out and that really gives it some whip. I feel like this feels very similar to the Arsenal Mammoth Bar. Now the Kratos one is out there. What we're using at the comp is the Kratos one. So if you are looking for a way to train that, I do think that's a good advantage with the Kabuki Deadlift Bar. Um, as far as like powerlifting competition, I'm kind of a purist where... I think the original, like, specs for a deadlift bar is what I prefer. But I do feel like it's fun to change it up. And this bar is pretty cool. It's nice. But even with this plates in a normal position, it's got mad whip. And then when you space it out even more, it just feels crazy. Like, with how long it is and how far out the plates are. But that felt pretty good doing those singles and then... I just wanted to hit something for some reps and I've been doing this like pretty hefty deficit to stall mats that are extra thick so my feet are like pretty close to the bar and I feel like this has been a good one to like build up that leg drive into the floor and something maybe like I need to work on a little bit and Especially with this whippier bar, like making sure you establish that drive through the floor and getting off the floor strong and your hips in a good position is, is essential for that kind of pull. And then what I really wanted to do here was just like kind of prime my nervous system with some heavier weight. I had hurt my knee, making a little bit of an attempt at the OSG online submissions took a misstep with like a thousand thirty yoke and hyper extended so I think I'm okay going to good squat depth now but it's still a little tender and then in general I just like with all the push pressing for this press ladder 
but Tower Tendons are pretty fired up right now. And I just feel like this was good to kind of like get used to some heavier weight in a front rack position. Like this felt pretty good today. So in the past I've had like some like dizziness, vertigo issues with log or even just like getting the axle up and like kind of feeling like I'm going to pass out sometimes. So I feel like this is a good way to acclimate to that. And then also just getting some good leg training in after deadlifts and the key thing here is like it's conan's wheel and then deadlift so some guys are like hey if you haven't been training conan's before deadlift like you may want to do that i feel like i have like decent work capacity i definitely would like to run take a run on a specific conan's implement and then be able to deadlift right after but i'm not necessarily like this is the main priority like i certainly could have done this stuff first to help with that specificity but i also did run four events yesterday one being zercher yoke so i felt like i still was experiencing that fatigue and then just running with these after doing the front squats so i really like using the um ssb as like a zercher implement I got that from Lucas Hatton, who has now exploded with his, you know, pro uh, performances. So definitely want to pay attention to, to what that guy's recommending. And Alec Jose with the coaching has really gotten everything dialed in to like some very impressive performances this year. So, yeah, this has really worked well for me for the past year i would say i've been using this kind of stuff um doing speed stuff with the zercher from bottoms up position and then the marches and then i'm going to do one 500 pound hold here which honestly like 600 pounds on a conan's like you're really not getting that weight fully in hand but you definitely need to be able to support it and sorry i do one more set of marches so this was 395 i think i got the 30 reps here and just you know it was a good thing to push push that capacity a little bit but you definitely want to be able to support that full load especially like breathing and like staying upright and tolerating it fully as you're walking with it but like it's a lot different the conins which is attached to something and you can kind of leverage off of that versus just picking up a free bar in the same fashion and that zercher style carry or hold so i think doing something really heavy like this and just trying to hold it and the grip here like the position that you're able to get and lock it in with your arms is less optimal than you usually you're going to have on a Kunin's implement so I was really happy with this I feel like I could have added 600 and done that but it's also like I'm dealing with a lot of fatigue today so it's not necessarily like something I need to push I'll just leave you with this wacky sandbag steeplechase setup that I got going on in my garage the day before I did the double session. So I did the first leg uphill and then I did both loads at 56 inches, even though the first load is going to be at 52 at the comp. And you may think like looking at this first run, like it's pretty slow. This is like double the distance of what the competition specifications are so i just really wanted to push the fatigue as much as possible like having to run these bags uphill load them i was trying to do like one motion load where i just like get the bag real high at the start and then extend as i approach the bar and i ran into the crossbar doing it on flat ground so i was like i better do these you know with the relap at the top of the hill but 
I think, like, given that this is two days, this is the sixth event on the second day, I really want to make sure that I can grind through just feeling, like, absolutely miserable. And I, I really think this is going to pay off for me, so I'm pretty excited for this event. But until next time, keep lifting those heavy weights and hold strong. What?